Now, let's continue our network engineering roles and career discussions. For those who are new and haven't seen other network engineering discussion videos, kindly check the link below. This time, we'll talk about the disadvantages of network engineering career over cloud engineering. You see guys, I am not biased. Not only that, my experience in the IT industry is very diverse. Name it. I've been an application developer, Linux administrator, network engineer, security specialist, cloud specialist, instructor, and entrepreneur. That means I share and talk about many different perspectives, many different angles. Not only the technical side, but also the business side as well. So I will break this down into three parts. First will be the job market slash opportunities. Next will be the technical skills or knowledge. And lastly, the IT certifications. First one, job market slash job opportunities. This is quite obvious. For startups, SMBs, and some small enterprise, they just use public cloud, meaning they don't have on-prem data centers. That would be a total loss opportunity for network engineers. When the company is 100% cloud, they don't hire network engineers to manage the cloud. They hire cloud engineers or full stack cloud engineers. And most cloud engineers have server, storage, database, and virtualization background. Many network engineers don't have these skill sets. That's why servers slash system administrators can easily transition to cloud engineering better than any other roles. Unfortunately, not for network engineers. Network engineers still have opportunities. Opportunities are still there, especially in service providers, in VAR or value-added resellers, mid and large enterprise network environment. Also, if the company has large-scale wireless environment, as you can't move wireless in the cloud. Also, most of the opportunities and projects are from on-prem moving to the cloud or on-prem data center moving to the cloud. It's very rare for you to see projects moving from cloud to on-prem data center. All right, fine. There is also a hybrid cloud, but it's more cloud. You see this situation where the company probably have an existing data center and they have to move workloads to the public cloud. So they have this new cloud infrastructure that needs to be connected to their on-prem data centers. Let's talk about technical skills. Network engineers, you will be disappointed. Those things that you learned like STP or spanning tree protocols, what else? Port configuration, device redundancies, hardware related concepts, those are not related or doesn't exist in the cloud. You can unlearn those technologies. But CIDR, subnetting, still be there. Routing will still be there. NAT, VPN, all be there. And network security related concepts like firewalls, application load balancer, etc., that will be helpful as well. But no switching. The point is if you are a network engineer and will transition to the cloud, half of what you've learned, half of what you've experienced will not be utilized. This will be replaced by database, servers, containers, programming, and many others. Cloud administrators or cloud engineering focuses on applications, something that most network engineers aren't knowledgeable about and don't work with. In the cloud, there will be less of ping test, less network design, less link redundancies, no interconnected links, no complex routing. If you are a network engineer and you want to transition to the cloud, there will be lots of adjustments, especially if you are specializing on switches, routers, and wireless devices. The first adjustment that you need to familiarize yourself are servers, storage, databases, and applications. But it would be easier. Well, probably the only part of network engineer that is more related to the cloud is if you are familiar with F5 application load balancer and web application firewall. Now let's talk about certifications. AWS or Amazon Web Services is actually doing a good job promoting their certifications. So what they promote primarily is the foundational level. They call it AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner. How much is it? 
is only 100 US dollars. And their target audience are not only technical people. They also target non-tech people like sales, marketing, management, etc. And yeah, of course, technical people as well. And uh, you will get 50% voucher discount for your next exam after you pass the AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner. So meaning all of these certifications will be 50% less. So we have this AWS Solutions Architect Associate that will only be 75 US dollars, which is the counterpart of CCNA. How much is CCNA? CCNA costs 300 US dollars. So if we take this four AWS Associate level certifications, that will be a total of 300 US dollars, same or equivalent value of a CCNA. Now let's move to professional level. So for Cisco, we have CCNP, Cisco Certified Network Professional. It requires two exam, the core exam and a concentration exam. So for the core exam, it's total of 400 US dollars. And for the concentration, 300 USD. So the total would be 700 US dollars. In AWS, all professional and specialty level certifications has a value or a cost of 300 US dollars. So if we apply that 50% voucher, it will only cost 150 US dollars each. So if we go for four AWS certifications, so let's say AWS Certified Solutions Architect Professional, AWS Certified DevOps Professional, and AWS uh, Certified Security Specialty, and AWS Certified Advanced Networking Specialty, that would be just 600 US dollars. So what do you think is better for your career? All right, so one of the advantage I'm seeing for network engineers, if, if you go for CCIE, or Cisco Certified Internetwork, Internetwork Expert, because there's no counterpart in AWS or any cloud providers. You know the saying, hard work pays off? Yeah, CCIE is the best example. Cloud engineering is better than network engineering as you will understand various technologies because everything is in the cloud. Name it, networking, servers, containers, application storage, and many others. In network engineering, network automation and security are your best bet, best way to upgrade your career. You know the opportunities for cloud engineers versus network engineers? I would say 10 is to one ratio. For every 10 cloud engineers being hired, only one network engineers being hired, but not the architect level or expert level. I would say two is to one. Yeah, I would say for every two expert cloud architect being hired, there will be one expert level network engineers being hired. So yeah, two is to one, not bad.